Good day everyone. My name is Dr. Mohamed Al Haddad and I am a gastroenterologist and an advanced endoscopist and associate professor of medicine at Indiana University School of Medicine. On behalf of uh, all the co-authors of this paper, I would like to thank Gastrointestinal Endoscopy for the opportunity to publish our work, but also provide you with this summary of the most important findings of our study. The title of our paper is Gastric Peroral Endoscopic Myotomy, or G-POEM, for the treatment of refractory gastroparesis, a, re a prospective single-centered experience with midterm follow-up. This paper comes uh, from the collaboration uh, between our neuro uh, gastroenterology and motility unit and the section of advanced and innovative endoscopy uh, at our division of gastroenterology and hepatology. We all know that gastroparesis is a multifactorial um, disease associated with large burden on healthcare systems. And we also uh, know that pyloric directive therapies in the last uh, several years have been uh, studied and this was the foundation for adoption of G-POEM as a potential treatment for patients with a refractory gastroparesis. However, we understand that the long-term outcomes of G-POEM um, are still being evaluated and are not certain, but we also, we, uh, we do not totally understand at uh, this point who is a good fit for this treatment and the selection process is still unrefined. The uh, 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 management of gastroparesis at a place like ours uh, follows a very rigorous uh, protocol and we have also established a very rigorous timeline and uh, protocol for studying the outcomes of patients with gastroparesis. Uh, these patients undergo a baseline evaluation with um, endoscopy as well as pyloric planimetry with endoflip as well as gastric uh, emptying scans that confirm the diagnosis of gastroparesis. Patients who undergo G-POEM are subsequently followed through uh, clinical visits uh, and uh, quality of life questionnaires uh, using tools like the Gastroparesis Cardinal Symptom Index or GCSI, the Gastrointestinal Disorder Symptom Severity Index or PAGISIM for short, and the short form 36 or SF36. Uh, six months after G-POEM, we uh, brought our patients back for repeating a four-hour gastric emptying uh, scan with scintigraphy, but also endoscopy and pyloric um, endoflip to assess the uh, compliance of the uh, pyloric muscle after G-POEM. Uh, we defined the clinical response um, as a, a change or improvement in the GCSI score of one full point or more, and this is in line with the previous literature as well. Let me tell you a little bit about the results of the study. We have enrolled uh, 52 patients over the course of approximately two and a half years uh, in this study. Uh, these patients came in with the uh, refractory gastroparesis and they had uh, various phenotypes, including the vomiting predominant type, the dyspepsia predominant type, and the regurgitation predominant type. Our technical success rate, which was defined as the ability to create a, a full thickness cut in the pyloric muscle was 100%. Our clinical responses uh, were reported at various time intervals. So for example, at one month after GPOEM, we report a 68% uh, clinical response. At six months out, we report a 58% clinical response. And at 12 months out, we report a 48% response, clinical response, or 48 clinical response. And all of these were significantly um, uh, different from the baseline uh, assessment of the GCI scores. So they were um, uh, considered uh, significant by our definition of a change of one point in GCSI or higher. What we found interesting is that uh, patients who responded uh, also came from a variety of uh, etiologies of gastroparesis. For example, uh, our diabetic gastroparesis patients had 64% response. Our post-surgical gastroparesis patients had 67% response. And our idiopathic gastroparesis patients had 72% uh, uh, response. We report a significant improvement in uh, the quality of life um, uh, assessments and metrics that we have adopted, including the PAGI-SIM scores 
at 1, 3, 6, 12, and 24 months out. We also reported a significant improvement in several domains of the SF36 for up to two years um, uh, of, of, the, of the study. Mean for our gastric emptying uh, was also reduced um, at six months out uh, down to 10.2% compared to our baseline of 36.5%, which was statistically significant. Uh, more importantly, and for the first time, we report on the impact of GPOEM on uh, healthcare utilization. We report a significant uh, reduction in the number of emergency room visits, as well as days spent in the hospital for gastroparesis care, and the number of days patients with gastroparesis required home health care after undergoing GPOEM. Uh, you can look up further details about the results, uh, including uh, other aspects of the analysis and the outcomes in our paper. Uh, but I would like to direct you to the discussion part of the paper where we included a section to highlight uh, the difference in the technical performance of a G poem compared to an esophageal poem. This could be of help to uh, many of the endoscopists who perform third space endoscopy who are quite versed with the esophageal poems, but are uh, possibly wanting to start doing gastric poems um, since there are a few um, just practical tips and hints to uh, uh, be more efficient and conduct a safe uh, G poem. So uh, we, in conclusion, we um, uh, found that G poem is safe, uh, feasible, and actually effective uh, in, in some patients with gastroparesis and does reduce healthcare utilization and is associated with a significant positive impact on quality of life. Now, there are several things that we'd like to continue to study going forward. Uh, we would like to focus on our group of non-responders uh, to find out what features could predict non-response uh, from the baseline. Um, so we would potentially offer these patients other treatments uh, if, if possible. Uh, but also we are quite interested in the um, rate of uh, response and the decline that we have noticed over the course of, of the year in some of our patients with GPOEM, uh, which is not something we have uh, fully understood yet uh, and does not uh, also mimic what we see in the esophageal sphincter after myotomy. Um, so uh, we are hopeful to continue to enroll patients in our registry and our study and provide a longer term follow up uh, on, on the impacts of GPOEM. Uh, I would like again to thank Gastrointestinal Endoscopy for the opportunity to uh, provide you with a summary and for accepting our paper for publication. And uh, thank you for listening uh, to this uh, summary of, of the paper. And have a good day, everyone.